Cause yeah, sometimes we'll feel alone In a second I'll be right there Turn around, let it rain Turn around and let it rain on me Hey y'all, welcome to the channel. Sorry, my neighbor is cutting some trees down over there. I guess they fell. Anyway, so I'm in the middle of a project and I said, well, let me just record a little bit of it. So what's going on here is my peach tree is over there and I put mulch on top of her, gave her some more water. And then I came over here and this is my blueberry right here. I had it sitting in here temporarily. Now I have it in this five gallon bucket from Lowe's. Um, I have the same soil mixture that I did for the peach tree in here. And then I put some mulch on top and gave it some water. Then I came over to my pecan tree that I got last year. Uh, you see all the limbs are gone off of it but I'm hoping it'll come back. So I decided just to pull it up to see what the roots look like and see if it need a bigger container. And so th these are the roots. And y'all, when I tell you the soil was so rich with worms, oh my goodness, it was so many worms in there. I could have went fishing off of it. But like, I tried to clean it up some, pull some of these little root balls and stuff off of it so i'm gonna replant it and see if it you know will spring back to life for me but i'm not going to try to plant it back in what it came out of because the reason for the root balls is because y'all the roots didn't look like this when i planted it it did not look like this at all it, they were very small and I was very surprised because it took a while for me to get this up. I was like, why is it so? And then I started feeling the roots and I'm like, oh my God, this thing is really growing in there. So I'm thinking, even though I probably could put it in here, I'm not going to put it in here. So that's that good soil that came out of it. I'm going to put it in the container that I originally bought for the peach tree but I feel like the peach tree is not ready for something so big but this is so I'm gonna put all the soil from and I gotta move fast cuz I, I don't want to leave it out like that too long so I'm gonna put this soil here in the white bucket into this right here add some good leaves in it like I had leaves in this soil right here that were breaking down and that's why it was so many worms in there i think so i'm gonna add some more leaves to that because lord knows i have enough leaves to go around and more soil and then i'll be done repotting my pecan tree so just wanted to give y'all a little update on what's going on out here in this backyard trying to get it together for spring y'all y'all take care if you haven't subscribed go ahead and subscribe like and share this video and also go over to my other youtube channel tommy bites life the link should be down in the description or one of the hashtags and click on that and then subscribe over there as well see y'all tomorrow
So this is what she's looking like now. course the black cow but I won't be using the black cow on my roots directly because I don't want that to heat my roots up in the summertime because I don't know how hot it's going to get so I will be adding the black cow to the top and let it feed its way down by the time it gets down to the roots it won't damage my roots in the summer it will have already broken down by the time it reaches the roots and then I also have the earthworm castings all throughout my um, soil so I didn't add any extra to it I added some on the top and right here I'm just patting it down to make sure that there are no air pockets in it and then I'll fill the soil in around the sides So now I'm about to water the pecan tree um, with a lot of water. Pecan trees love, love, love water. And anytime you're transplanting like that, you need to give them extra water because it's just like a workout. You want extra water to replenish your body and bring it back you know to wherever it needs to be and it's the same thing when it comes to um your fruits and vegetable trees i also have bone meal um in my container as well i don't know if you saw me put it in earlier in my soil mix but i did put some bone meal in but i'm now adding a little bit to the top so it can feed its way down also through those roots and then I'm going to add some mulch to the top of it to help um, with the water that I just put in there. So y'all, I hope that you enjoyed this video and got something from it. I thank you so much for being here. And also I'm about to show you what she's looking like now. So remember, I love you, but God loves you more. Take care and God bless. My love is real